I'm Melissa Chavez, and I'm here at Open Source Bridge 2011, and today I'm talking with... I'm Sumana Hareharishwara, and I am Volunteer Development Coordinator at the Wikimedia Foundation, which is the nonprofit that supports Wikipedia and other free culture and free knowledge projects. Thank you. And uh, what are you speaking about at Open Source Bridge this year? Well, yesterday I gave the talk, Learn Tech Management in 45 Minutes which was a summary of my master's degree. I have an MS in tech management. So I took people through some large perspectives that they can use to understand how executives think about technology and management so that the people in that room could use those tools or translate to non-technical people to help persuade them of the need for their projects and then plan them and execute them. Um, so along those lines, uh how did you get involved in open source community work? In 1998, I was a freshman at the University of California at Berkeley, and I met a guy named Seth Schoen, and he told me about free software and asked, have you ever read Slashdot? And I said, what's that? and introduced me to the GPL and Neil Stephenson's book, In the Beginning Was the Command Line, and stuff like that. And I started using Linux then and was just a, a user for a while and maybe contributed some documentation and bug reports or something like that. And then a few years ago, I started working at, uh, uh, more, in, more purposefully in the community thinking partly of my own career and partly of giving something back. So I contributed more bug reports and moderation to the Miro community, the open source video podcast catcher. And then through a job that I had, I started contributing documentation and editorial and some uh, bug triage and other stuff like that to the GNOME community. And so it kind of grew from there that, you know, once you've gotten involved in one community, it's a lot easier to think about when you see another one, oh, I could do that, and then just do it. And uh, when did you first get involved with uh, wikis? Gosh, I mean, I've been reading Wikipedia for a very, very long time, and I have edited every once in a while, you know, for some time, several years probably. and. Then the Wikimedia Foundation itself, I applied for the job uh, late last year and then started part-time in February and uh, full-time for the past month and change. But I've always been involved or interested in you know, publishing and editing and more uh, ways of doing those things that empower people more. Um, and along those lines, uh, how do you think you could get more people involved in open source work? I figure that there's a few different answers to that depending on who's asking. So if I'm just and if I'm, if I'm a, a project manager of an open source project and I want people involved in my project, then I got to think about what does my project need and who are the people that I'm trying to reach out to whom I wish to be involved and try and find the intersections where those things work. And one way to do that is through Ashish LaRoya's awesome project Open Hatch, which helps do exactly that, helps open source project leaders say these are things we're looking for and helps match them up with people who are coming and looking for some way to contribute. That's about ensuring that there's a real funnel to get, uh, or a conveyor belt or something, or some kind of conveyor belt funnel hybrid to get people to where they ought to be. Um, if I'm thinking in terms uh, much larger than any one individual project, mm -hmm. then I might be saying something like, engineers should be getting an open source from the very beginning of when they start thinking of themselves as engineers. And then you have projects like Posse, which is for uh, professional or professors doing open source software education, I believe. And that's partially led by my friend Mel Chua at Red Hat, who helps train up professors of computer science and engineering and so on to get their students involved in open source as a part of their classwork. 
And that involves, of course, not just helping them learn some piece of software and learn how to contribute on a technical level, but also on a social and a community level. There are outreach programs being done by a number of other organizations, like uh, the GNOME Outreach Program for Women. GNOME is a desktop environment for Linux and other free and open source operating systems. And every, ah, oh gosh, I can't remember how often. This might be the second or third time they've done it. Right now they're running the GNOME Outreach Program for Women which especially tries to find women who are currently not very involved in open source or perhaps have never done any open source work before and gets them in a scheduled program of volunteership with a mentor contributing to some aspect of GNOME and that might be code, that might be documentation, testing, usability, design, and so on. And one thing that all of these have in common is attention to populations where open source software is not traditionally automatically thought of as an option for participation and achievement. So these are some thoughts. There are many. Uh, and one of the things that I aim to do in my work is to think both of getting people in from zero to one and also increasing from one to something else. So people who have contributed a tiny bit sometimes are running into friction or obstacles that I need to help them overcome to get more out of them. And even before that, there are people who have just never made the jump of contributing at all who need a different kind of encouragement just to, to take that step, which sometimes feels a little scary. Okay. Um, and can I ask you, uh, what other things are you passionate about? as well. Certainly. I perform stand-up comedy. I am passionate about ensuring that when I perform, I am making good use of people's time. I think this also comes across in meetings that I run. And I am also passionate about the particular bit of open source that is geek feminism. I am a blogger occasionally on the geek feminism group blog, and I am a member of the advisory board of the Ada Initiative. And through these and other means, I aim to model good behavior and encourage good behavior in open source that makes it a more diversity friendly place among many axes. These are a few of the things I'm passionate about, and I am kind of ridiculously passionate about the Wikimedia mission because it's pretty easy to be passionate about. It's pretty unicorns and rainbows. I really love that I get to put in time every day towards making information freely accessible to people all over the world in their own languages. It's pretty dynamite. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Melissa. And Open Source Bridge. Yay, great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.